This is going to be a brief presentation on the value of visual thinking. Pictures rule. Human beings are hardwired to receive images. In fact, let's talk a little bit about the physiology. You have over one million receptors that connect images to your brain versus the 30,000 for audio receptors. Approximately half of your brain is devoted to visual processing versus the 8% that's preserved for audio processing. And in fact, the retinal cells look a lot and act a lot like brain cells, performing pre-processing as soon as an image is observed. The brain loves pictures. you're able to recognize the concept of a tree from an image versus the word tree 60,000 times faster. And in fact, there are two systems in which the brain can take in information simultaneously. This is known as dual encoding. There's the verbal channel, and then there's the visual channel. And if you've ever wondered why it's a little hard to read PowerPoint slides while someone talks about something slightly different, that's why. You can't take in two types of verbal information simultaneously. It causes cognitive dissonance. So let's talk about how this helps us as individuals. Images are key for retention. After 72 hours of learning something, that which is associated with a picture we remember 65% of after 72 hours versus the 10% of just reading or hearing. And in fact, people remember 90% of visual information up to a year later versus verbal information. So what does that all mean? Well, for communication, images are key. Imagine trying to describe a giant, wrinkly, gray animal with a long nose that was much bigger than a person versus drawing a picture of it. Or design a traffic circle merely by talking about it. How do you know that it's all going to work? And the other thing that happens when we start to use images is we break habitual thinking patterns and we're able to connect ideas that we might not otherwise connect. So maybe you recognize this image from the cocktail napkin. This is the way Southwest Airlines concept business model was born. So for collaboration, images are also a wonderful set of tools. You get a cross-disciplinary team together with their own jargon, their own experiences. How do you get to shared understanding? And when you want to actually design systems and not components, those same multidisciplinary team members can show the picture from their perspective and even create a record that will exist after the fact. So.